l it l overdraw my lips without it looking false. Without it looking weird. Mm. Had Botox. Mm. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's just me, Tiny Tasha, or you can call me Tasha like everyone else does. And today I'm gonna show you how I overline my lips and how I do my lipstick so that they look fuller and bigger without having to have any needles or stuff go around there because I'm not about that. So all you're gonna need today is a lip liner, a lipstick and a lip gloss. And I'm also gonna show you a couple of my tips and tricks as well. First and foremost, which a lot of people don't do, is get a lip scrub. So this is probably one of my favorite lip scrubs from Lush, it's the honey lip scrub. I mean, you could probably make this at home. It's literally just sugar, mint, and honey, I imagine. But this little guy is my favorite. I find that when you scrub your lips beforehand, they're so much softer and the products look so much nicer when you put it on. So that's just a little hack from me that I like to do if I'm going on a night out or if I'm at a photo shoot and the camera is gonna be right up in my face and you're gonna see everything. You want your lips to look really nice, plump and soft. I'm just gonna grab some of my lip scrub, apply it to my lips in circular motions kind of thing without getting it down you. Okay, so now I've done that, my lips are super, super soft, which are gonna make the application of the makeup so much easier. So first I'm gonna start off with my liner. I tend to go for a shade darker to the color of the lipstick that I'm gonna be going, just so that then it looks slightly contoured. I'm taking this Morphe Eyeliner in Caviar. And I'm just going to trace just above my cupid's bow and then the main key with keeping your lips looking fuller without them looking like you've overdrawn them is to make sure you join back to your natural shape on the side so regardless of how much fuller you want them to look as long as they meet back to the corner of your lip it should look slightly more natural. Obviously that depends on how huge you make a cupid's bow because then you could still look stupid, but you know. <laughs> no! Fuck's sake. Why am I such a butterfingers? Look what I've just done. Oh. Be right back, I've got to sharpen it. Oh my God, I'm back. What a nightmare. So I'm gonna take my lip liner and I'm gonna start. You don't need to go much more over your natural shape before you see a difference. So don't dramatically change your shape of your lip because then that's when people are gonna notice. And then connecting it back up to your natural shape. So then once you've done that, you're then gonna do the same with your lower. With your lower lip, you can actually get away with drawing it slightly bigger, just because you usually, most people have the, the lip dip down here, um, which you can accentuate more um, to make it look fuller than it is. So what I tend to do is, is here, as you can see, where I've drawn that line, you think is on the bottom of my lip. It's not, it's actually on my skin. But because of my lip shape, you can't notice it. But just draw slightly lower than your lip on your lower lip to be able to get that. I said lower a lot in that sentence. And then always, same as your top lip, make sure you are matching it back to your natural shape because otherwise it's gonna look silly. So 
so I did start sort of skipping ahead and doing it already but the way to now make your lips not look like you've just put a pencil around them to make them look bigger you need to start blending that in so that it then begins to look like the natural shape of your lips so to do that slowly start to fill in the lower lip just slightly and then the same with the top lip just pretty much in the cupid's bow Then we're going to add some contour with our lip pencil so to create a fuller looking lip you usually have a sort of line running down the middle of your lips so with your pencil just going to draw a line in between your cupid's bow and the same in the center of your lower lip then once you're done you're going to do diagonal either side and the same on the lower lip that way you're instantly going to create a fuller looking lip so that's the difficult part if you can do that then you're pretty much set so once you've done that I actually before I like to put lipstick on which most people just go ahead and do I like to sort of smudge this in a little bit just to make it look less harsh so you can still see the contours we've made on the lip but it's just not as prominent and it just looks a little bit more natural so once you've done that you're then going to grab your chosen lipstick I'm actually going to use the stay matte liquid lipstick from Rimmel London and I'm going to use the shade mocha and then as if this is just your normal lip go over the entire thing just tracing the lip liner that you just used So after I've done that, I'm just gonna take a sort of flat, flat brush and a little bit of concealer um, and just tidy up my edges just because I've got a few spots which I'm just gonna tidy. Okay, so once I've tidied up a little bit, you should start to get this sort of looks where you your lips automatically do look bigger. So all I'm gonna just do now is add my finishing touch of my Jeffree Star and Morphe collab. This is called Star Crown. So once I've done that, I literally just like to pat over the top of my lip gloss just because I really don't like for a daily basis having that completely light sheen of lip gloss across my lips. I like it to look a little bit worn and natural so I've just tapped over that. And there we are, there is the finished lip. So I'll just quickly show you the before and the after. So you can see from the two pictures that I've just popped up there that there is a massive difference between the natural lip and the finished lip and it didn't even take that long. This video isn't long. It won't take you guys long once you practice it. So I definitely think it's a nice easy way to create bigger, fuller, beautiful lips in five minutes. So I hope this video has helped you guys out and that you've learned a lot. If there's any questions at all on this video, then please leave them down in the comments. If you like this video and want some more hacks and tricks that I use on a daily basis, then please hit the like button. 
and give it a thumbs up and if you're still not subscribed to my channel please subscribe now because you are missing out and you will keep missing out if you don't subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you soon